Hello again and welcome back to 3D modeling for 3D printing. I am teaching you how to modify your Pepicura or armor files from a video game for 3D printing. Alright, we have already separated our helmet from the rest of the armor. And now we're going to apply a solidify modifier to give it some dimension. So let's go ahead and add a modifier. Solidify. Now, depending on the thickness that you're going for, if you want even thickness, so this again is measured in millimeters. So now it's getting pretty thick, but only 0.7 millimeters thick. Well, that's not true. That's actually being multiplied by the scale that we have already scaled this by. So let's go ahead and, with the object selected, select object apply scale so that lowered it down again so let's go ahead and get it pretty thick let's go ahead and try three millimeters nice thickness to be wearing that's probably a good couple layers of fiberglass resin on top of your uh, paper that you printed with You know, if you want a nice strong print, let's go ahead and increase this to a 5 millimeters thick. So that's a nice thin layer of Rondo on the inside, too. You want to make sure that make sure that uh, every, all the normals are facing outside and that these are uh, being applied to the inside. You can actually invert this and go negative direction, uh, but let's go ahead and just check that. Okay, all these little blue splines coming up means that the normals are facing in this direction, in the outward direction. Let's go ahead and smooth that out. Change all the tries to quads. And that gives us a better look and you will get better results with your solidify modifier. So one thing to look at over here is even thickness. Even thickness helps you to make sure that you get the same thickness. You know, it's going to be 5 millimeters all the way through. But whenever you get colliding vertices, then you're going to be getting something like this happening. So you can apply that and just move these two vertices back up in it, into his head. But let's just, for the sake that this got applied how it's how it needs to be, and remove that uh, even thickness. So let's go ahead and apply that. Okay. So now we've got a printable helmet. Now the only printer on the market right now that you can buy is probably the Z18 from MakerBot. You may have seen other people building larger printers. And unless it's something custom built, even a Z18 probably won't be able to print this because it might be you know too wide to fit inside the printer but it's got the height that if you moved it this way that it might be able to print it that way that full-size helmet but for most everybody your print platform might be limited to a 200 millimeter uh, print bed so nothing on here is 200 millimeters so we're gonna need to slice this and I'll show you that in the next lesson 